your knowledge and history throughout a wide range of subject material and persons and eras. So if you're not quite so good in one era, then you might do well in another. So uh, today we have, you guys want to shout out names for us so we know a little bit about you. Give us your names. I'm Peace. Peace? Jeff. Jeff. And Bill. And Bill. <laughs> the wild bill over there. All right. So that's okay. And uh, our, our moderator, uh, our judge, uh, the judge is back there in the corner. That's David. And Terry is channeling. Who are we channeling today? Um, I, I'm old school. I like Art Fleming. Art Fleming, okay. So but if, if you guys have Alex Trebek, you know, I can do Alex too. Okay, so we welcome you to this edition of uh, Red Actor Carol. And if you like what you see, tell your friends about it because, you know, we're adding more ideas and more people. We like to fill the place, you know, because we've had fun with this. So, uh, all right, take it away. <laughs> All right, well, good afternoon. Welcome to the Kalamazoo Living History Show and Reenactor Carol, um, which I like to say is the game where we put the reputation of historical interpret uh, rep historical interpreters' reputations in jeopardy. Um, <laughs> and we have two rounds and then a final round, and there are five categories with each round. I'm sorry, five categories? Five categories with each round, and then uh, five clues within each category for the first two uh, sessions. And then, of course, the final is just uh, is just one question, one category. And so, for our first round, we have five categories. Uh, the first category is leftovers, aka potpourri, uh, unused questions from previous year's categories. Uh, then we have headgear, dealing with different kinds of hats. Working names, common last names which derive from historic occupations and trades. Four, modes of transportation, dealing with historic vehicles and conveyances. And finally, since this year's uh, topic is, or the theme is the Alamo, we have Texas Alamo. Tasty tidbits dealing with the people and events surrounding the siege of the Alamo. And um, David will be our scorekeeper. And uh, you can choose from any of the categories you know, within that round uh, when you, uh, uh, you know, to, to start with. And so, um, Let's see, we, we have a uh, former contestant with uh, Colonel Cody, mm -hmm. and no, no, two, uh, no, <laughs> well, you, I, I'm sorry, you said you were Bill, so I thought you were. No, I'm not a former contestant. Oh, I thought you were a contestant the first year, I apologize. Yep. You ought to. <laughs> okay, so we have three new, three new contestants. Did, did we determine a way to, uh, to select the first contestant, uh, ladies, ladies, ladies first. first. Ladies go first. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right now. So peace, peace, right? The brave, the brave gal from the floor. So she gets to select from categories. Okay, uh, what category would you like to start with? Uh, headgear. Oh, headgear. A reminder to the contestants, make sure you phrase your answer in the form of? A question. A question. Yes. Use your bills. Yeah, yeah, when you have an answer, do your dingy, fluty, Sounds like more than one has gone at once. It's up to the judge to decide who's doing it first. Okay, from the category headgear, dealing with different kinds of hats. The first clue: this ubiquitous three-pointed 18th-century hat. Tricorn. Tricorn. Correct. Correct. So that's the first piece. So you get two issues again, please. What do I blow first? She gets them for okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, can I choose the same one, or do we have yeah. to do it? You can do the same category. Okay, I'll go with headgear again. Okay. Uh, this Civil War Union soldier's headgear. In the form of a question. What is a kepi? Knucklehead? Correct. <laughs> Correct, jerk. Oh. <laughs> That'll be your one. <laughs> okay, so you get to choose the next category here, uh, Colonel Cody. 
Thanks, Bob. Uh, let's go with leftovers. Leftovers, already. The wild card one, right? There we go. First clue. Uh, from the category opponents, I will name two opposing commanders and the contestants that will be you name the battle site where they fought. Wolf versus Montcalm. What is the Alamo? <laughs> oh, yes. You can name the word. <laughs> uh, no, we need the actual, what the battle is, or the, the battle site. No, you're already wrong. It's a win. Time's up. Who is it? Can you? Uh, the, I'm sorry, the, uh, the contestants were Wolf versus Montcalm. They were never in Texas. <laughs> True. Okay. Time. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, it was the Battle on the Plains of Abraham, 1759, French and Indian. It's outside of San Antonio. As opposed to 1066, the <laughs> Battle of Hastings. Um, <laughs> yes. This year's thing. Okay. Uh, so since uh, point Colonel of order was the last point correct. Point of order. Yes. Isn't the theme of this year's show the Alamo? That's yes, but it is a living Alamo. history show. That's why we have that. Well, shouldn't the leftovers deal with their holy beans? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Doc, we made the right move. This could be a historical right first. We might have to throw out one of our contestants. <laughs> <laughs> I know where you live. <laughs> so anyway, um, our the previous correct contestant was Colonel Cody, so you get to choose. But I wasn't a contestant. I've never been here before. No. You're you the last one that answered correctly. Oh, no. participant. Oh, okay. participant. So what category would you like? Alla modes of transportation. Well, <laughs> Alla modes or transportation? No, Alla no. modes of transportation. Alla modes of transportation. I know. He's, he's yeah. trying to do Let's do I'm modes of transportation there. I'm afraid I'll ask a transportation question. He'll say, no, 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 I want to be Alla modes. Uh. Okay, under modes of transportation, a Conestoga was one example of this. Yes? What is a wagon? Correct. Correct. Yay. Okay, these and next category, or next... Uh, um, is there any more headgear? Yes. Go with clothes. <laughs> The woman's head covering was so common that Euro-American women of all classes and stations were almost never out in public without it. Mop cap. Or what is a mop cap? Correct. Next. Uh, Any more back here? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the French name for a knitted cap commonly worn by the coureur de bois. Uh, French name. Uh, what is a voyager's cap? What is a toque? I don't know. What is a toque? What is a toque? <laughs> I took a ride on the other mode of transportation. That is, that is the, uh, the correct response. And what category? Yeah, it was in headgear. Huh? We oui, headgear it was. Yes, I know. Okay. okay. For the next one, you want? Uh, working names for two hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Common last names which derive from historic occupations and trades. This person ran a place using a millstone where grain was ground. Yes? Uh, what is a miller? Correct. Yay! And next category? We need some applause for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. What do we go ahead for? Um, I'll do the same category. Okay. Uh, this person worked at a place that prepared animal hides for personal and industrial. Yes. Was that Kurt Rose? Jeremy Glothko? Sorry, I thought I heard his sound. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, what is the Tanner? Correct. Category? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry, same category, please. Okay. This person worked on a lumber cutting key.
Who is a Sawyer? Correct. Correct. In your category? Yeah. Yay! Woo! Yay, Tom. <laughs> Let's go with Texas Alamodi. Alrighty. <laughs> you need to get medical. Oh yeah, that'd be great. I used to be a nurse. First clue. <laughs> this is what Alamo actually means in Spanish. Sons of the San Joaquin. Uh, what is it? Cottonwood Tree? Cottonwood Tree. Yeah, the Sons of the San Joaquin has a song about that. Oh, okay. I just listened to it. There you go, you study. You're like multilingual, aren't you? You know, a little Spanish, a little French. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've picked up some of them Spanish terms a little bit. Yeah. Um, let's okay, go with. Next, uh, next kid. And, and in Monon, I have this Spanish <clears throat> Texas Alamodi. Oh, okay. This Alamo participant, who did not survive, is reported to have said, Great God, the Mexicans are inside our wall. Yes. Who is Almiron Dickinson? Correct. Captain. Captain. Oh, I'm sorry. And he's married to uh, Susanna, and the baby's name is Angelina, and they had a birthday party in the movie. Wow. Lisa Angelina in the movie. See, I should have watched the movie. You should have. Anyway, uh, next category. Texas Alamodi. Okay. This defender wrote a poem that was set to music and used in an Alamo movie. Time. You want to try? I was just wondering if we had time to watch the movie. No. Nope. <laughs> Do I give the answer? Did you get marked down for wrong yeah, guesses? Give the answer. I mean, someone can throw it, I guess, but time's up. Oh, I know one. Farewell to the mountains whose base is stormy. And who was the person? Stevie Crockett. Was that for real? That's the only person I knew from the was that He for really, yes, you he didn't wrote mention a that. Poem. You didn't Good mention guess. that earlier <laughs> in your well, presentation. Well, I didn't do everything in my presentation. Well, why not? <laughs> okay, still um, but yeah, it's still your, uh, your truth because you had the last correct response. Which category? Did he play the mandolin? No, it's him. I'm the one asking the questions. Texas Alamo. Okay. <laughs> um, this Alamo participant brought his slave named Joe with him to the Alamo. Yes? Oh, who was Colonel William Barrett Travis of Alabama? In South Carolina? Yes. South Carolina. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. I watched the movie. Yeah. <laughs> One more. Uh, oh, let's let's rack it up with the. Well, uh, the 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 okay. There's no more headgear though, right? Yep. One more. One more. Oh. Headgear. <laughs> One more headgear. Um, let's let's do modes of transportation for a change there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Modes of transportation. Usually made from birch bark, this vessel. Yes. Is it a canoe? Correct. Woo! Come on, come on. See, only I get a plus. <laughs> Next category? Uh, headgear, please. Okay. This typically Iroquois headpiece was a skull cap decorated with feathers. Yes. What is a goose the way? Correct. Yay! I can speak more. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you get all the ones that are on the way. <laughs> That's the languages. And what category now? Since we finished hands. Oh, it's my turn. Round one. <laughs> <laughs> 